uh, they brought a melee setup, and I was just playing with him, and he, he, he was like commentating his own matches. I'm just like, wait, what? Okay, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if it helps him, sure. Ready? All right, let's see what we got here. Penguin Apollo. Uh, what? This is a button warmer. I think it's a button warmer. Uh, uh, uh maybe not. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. The game started with. Uh, what I, who I assume is going to be Pengi, uh, like literally running off and killing himself. I'm gonna just make the hard read and say that he thought he was the blue fox. Maybe. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, but because of that SD, uh, blue team definitely up a stock. Up a stock right now. Yeah. Uh. Wait, is Aura playing Sheik? Aura is playing Sheik. Aura likes to play Sheik in teams. Really? Is yeah. Instead of Falco? Yep. That's interesting. I mean, it makes sense. To be perfectly honest, I think uh, Falco Falco sometimes has a really rough time in teams, especially uh, if, especially because like if they're not super good at using like their movement besides lasers, because lasers can be really restrictive in teams when you don't have. Because of the fact that, like, you know, there are multiple people that you have to consider. Yeah. Specifically your teammate. Because, like, you don't want to shut your teammate down with lasers. Um, additionally, you just don't have as much time to, like, shoot lasers and doubles. Yeah. So, it makes sense where, like, if Falco players would just be like, oh, I just want to play someone else in teams. I know, uh, like, the top like, Falco players just won't play teams with Falco sometimes. They'll be like, yeah, it's not really doing it today. Uh, okay. Oh, missing that wave land. Oh, okay. Pengi getting clipped by the uh, ooh, by the fire, and Panda coming in with a shine spike. Yeah. Paulo unable to save his opponent, uh, his uh, teammate there. So. <laughs> okay, Pengi getting the uh, edge guard, but Panda coming in with another big shine spike. Okay, Big Papa coming back on the mic. I have returned. What's up? Jimmy kept the stats warm for me, baby. Alright, what I miss? Uh, you missed... Any six Plup? stats? You missed Plup and Odie taking it 3-1 over Cobalt and Harriet. Okay. Uh, and you missed the first two and a half minutes of this match. Okay. It looks very uh -oh. close. Oh, yeah. Peggy started off the match by thinking he was the other fox and running off the stage. And immediately, and immediately dying. What a legend. He, yeah, and he, they brought it back, too. Oh, yeah. Because uh, now blue team oh. in a pretty good position. Or, I'm sorry, blue team in a bad position. But uh, Or is going to get the forward air on Peggy. That's it. That's going right. to be it, though. That's me. Oh. I hope they start off with another runoff instantly. Bro, that would be so hype. It looked like Apollo kind of caught or right at the beginning when he was up being when Sheik's still vulnerable. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky thing to kind of, like, as a Sheik player to, like, be aware of. Right, you when you mean? start your invincibility mm -hmm. not Because, like, you have, like, so much invincibility uh, when you're Sheik up being, but that tiny little window right in front is something that you have to play around more often than not mm -hmm. because opponents are scouting that out. They're, yeah. they're like waiting for like that opportune moment when you have to up B yeah. or you're going to die and they poof, hit you. Definitely characters like my own Ganon and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I know like if I see them up being too close and the second it starts up, I'm like, I need to hit this right now. Mm -hmm. I know Peaches are a lot like that too because I'll see yeah. Odie, I'll see Odie like floating around a uh, Sheik mm -hmm. like when they're trying to Peaches recover. Peaches are really good about that too because yeah. they can, like, like, they're really good at floating in like the right spot mm -hmm. and then just be like, you have to be like, Oh, and here you go. Right. All right, so I think this is uh, probably the best pick for this. Uh, Yoshi's. Unless unless they get grinded by uh, Apollo when he's uh, pressing down on the stick. But uh, ooh, good tech. Ooh, Apollo oh, drops oh, the edge guard. Yeah. The oh, okay. It was a dangerous spot, and then they just were like, all right, I just don't want to die. <laughs> I'm going to press down on this easy thing. That's how I win, right? Bro, that's like such it. a good stick. He's like, I did it! That's such a good stick to press down on, though. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're Peach. Oh my god, he just did 41% with that. Oh my gosh! Apollo! 
he had a stronger up smash up than the stock. Apollo getting just a little too close into Pengi's space, but it looks like, you know, they're they're fine with it. Oh, okay. He almost did the bomber, like, climb. I don't know if there's an actual name for that. I'm not a Peach player. Like the side B, go up high. Yeah, where you keep riding the wall up. Yeah, and you're yeah. Like, bang, bang, it's bang, bang. Uh, Actually, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a Peach player. No, not a Peach player. Right? Ooh, okay. okay. Or trying to keep some people off with uh, backers right now. Accidentally hits his partner, but it looks like Panda's gonna be able to make it back. So we good. Panda's been uh. Besides that first little bit on the this game where he like gave up his position uh, against Apollo, he's been making it back pretty well. A little tricky, I like that. Uh oh, Pinky's going in for the kill. Pinky going in. Oh my God, that's it. Oh, oh attack! It's attack. And yeah, that still was it. it. That was fast. Pinky just like let a rip and yeah. Like, bam, 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 bam. He's Pinky's also gotten a lot of really good edge guards on uh, Sheik. He has very clean Sheik edge guards. Yeah. Well, definitely, because he's, you know, Georgia player. Yeah, not, definitely Georgia, Georgia player. He's but definitely had the drug fox he experience. Had the drug fox experience. And I think like they played most, like, like they practiced most when uh, drug fox was going through the chic period, the chic Marth phase. Yeah. He's like, uh, drug fox is like, um, shoot, what's his name? Picasso. He has phases, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that back air is so huge. Right, that's it. Peach's back air is like one of the single best hitboxes in the game. Man. It's so good. It's like huge. It's like plus four on Dude, the shield. booty too good. Ugh. I thought I, I think just I have to steal. Yeah, I think I have to play. Uh, so I will be back on the mic later this evening. But in the meantime, I'm going to go press a lot of buttons. Peace out. Good luck. Thanks, Wayne. Do you need this back? Yes. Okay. You're gonna leave me all alone here? I'm spooked. <laughs> I'm shy. You can get on cam with me too. That I can't do. No, I know. You gotta run. I gotta run the stream then. Okay, so do, are we doing more doubles now, or are you starting singles on? Um, stream? I think we're waiting for a doubles, the doubles match, because on the other side of the bracket with uh, uh, Gatsu and Fearless are playing Father. And